Hi, it's Dean O'Brien from O'Brien Real Estate. I've got today here, I've got Matt Dewan and Daniel Gallagher from our Cranbourne office. Uh, for the second quarter in a row, they've actually been able to achieve number one uh, office again. So congratulations, guys. Thanks, Thanks Dean. Thanks. Um, let's go through a few things today and help us out to sort of understand why you guys have not only created success, but are consistent in success of um, doing the jobs over and over again. Uh, simple things like, uh, I know that when you guys got to that level, agents started moving forward and progressing. Um, tell us a little about that, those people and those agents and what's special about how you go about your business. Yeah, good question, Dean. I something in particular that I've found over the last six months is, is success has really become contagious within our group. Um, and the growth of, of teams from an individual getting one or, or, or two assistants and um, and obviously over the last couple of awards you'll see a couple of faces in the top ten they don't become complacent and the others are wanting to fight to get in that so it's a healthy competition within our office um, and, and heaps and heaps of support within that yet it, that contagious idea of trying to get as much success as we can is really exciting within our group which has seen us get these results. And I suppose a good thing to actually go along on that line is that this quarter alone you had five out of the top ten in the um, in our top ten awards but not only achieved ourself you were actually um, nominated number nine in Australia from REB online mate um, how, how, are you proud of that yeah it's something that um, I know the three of us would be really proud of um, five years ago or four years ago sorry when we opened up the Cranbourne office you know these dreams are something really you only dream of um, to have a team, um, you know, it's not about us, it's about the team we actually do have. Um, yeah, it's very exciting seeing the guys grow from, you know, riding 100 to 200,000 into five, six, 700,000 potentially this year. And they are growing at a rapid rate, but also growing in our business is our property management team. Um, last quarter we sort of neglected to mention that, but they've become a significant part of our business. Uh, led by Nicole. So, Danny, can you tell me a bit about the property management team and how, and how the sales team interact with the property management yeah, team? Yeah, great question. Huge uh, focus on um, actually relating the two together. I guess traditional real estate agents have your sales and your rentals. Something we've focused on in particular over the last few months is, is making sure that those are communicating at levels so ultimately our, our high wealth individuals are being looked after in the best way, whether it be from a sales or rental. Um, something I know we've been focusing on quite a bit is when purchases are purchasing through another company, I guess agents traditionally think that agencies automatically look after it from a management point of view. So Nicole's had a great ability to still then be able to convert that if we've had the ability to refer it in. Um, we've just seen us grow over 60 listings, new listings in the last three months alone, which is a personal best for, for Nicole and the team. I think, if, uh, I think if you actually put that in anyone's marketplace, you'll find that would be an outstanding effort by Nicole. 60 new properties to market in the last three months. Yeah. Consistently. And looking months. to do that again this month with some yeah. really good results. And what's really impressive is seeing so how many referrals are coming in from the sales team. Um, obviously in our marketplace with the, the type of demographic we've got and, and where the market is at the moment, there's a lot of investors out there. But her ability to, to convert those new, new investors, but also, as I said, for ones that are purchasing through other companies that might have managements through our own, They've had that trust with both that salesperson and that property manager for us to still convert that as a, as a rental lead into a management of ours. I think one thing about that is Nicole actually sending the emails out to all of us just to um, yeah, notify us who it's actually coming from. It's a, it's a great communication level. It's yeah. a, it sort of lets everyone know what's going on in the business. Um, Matt, I would say happily, you know, you lead from the front from our sales team without a doubt. Um, one of the key things that's got us growth in the business in Cranbourne would be fair to say that our senior agents have embraced uh, assistant roles um, and more of a sales associate role than, a, than an assistant role. Um, and you're very good at this and you lead from that. So tell us a bit why, how and, and why it is important. I think um, we've all got different skills that we're really good at um, and most of the senior, sale, senior agents are actually good at listing and actually negotiating a deal. Um, with the assistants, it's um, teaching them from the bottom level to actually start from the administration through to the processing, um, through to how to run a buyer. So I think you have to teach them from the bottom level up to the, um, you know, up to the top level where they can actually then work 
work on going out as a listing agent within two to three years. And because you do that, that gives them sort of technical competence in that area, doesn't it? Yes. And, um, and they sort of play their role at, at a high level. Uh, and that's probably a credit to where we go to from here about the next question here is that, you know, we use Josh Fegan for training a fair bit. Um, we've just had a session here today again and we've embraced a lot of it. We talk about level one, level two and level three agents um, in referring to Josh's uh, rating. Uh, we had a meeting the other day and realised that probably by the end of the year that we will have no one in the level one agents. So all, all progressed into a level two agents um, already. That's yeah. exciting. Scary almost to think that we could do that in such a short period of time, but most of all exciting um, that the that complacency hasn't set in and, and going back to the personal assistant and team orientation, it's it's almost an expectation if you're coming to the salesperson in our office that you're going to have an assistant because traditionally people are starting that, that role, they're building it up and by the time that they're a salesperson, they've realised the actual need and desire for, for to have success, you're going to be able to need to have one of those assistants or a team involved. Um, so that's been uh, really, really exciting. And a lot of the assistants buddy up with each other when they come on board? Yeah, absolutely. And, and look, uh, it's a support mechanism, obviously, because they're both going through similar learning stages and, and we're very, very open in relation to not hiding things when someone's oh, brought out a new idea or trying this and that communication levels or what is this person doing to be able to create that uh, effective system or process that's being able to see the team grow. We're, we're an open book, um, both as an office um, and personally within our teams, which is really, really beneficial. And so we'll just finish off with one more question because obviously when you are, are number one, and I think a lot of people strive to get there, the hardest thing is maintaining it. And um, you may, you've been able to maintain the uh, number one office now for two quarters in a row, and I'm sure that your competitiveness and also your enthusiasm about the industry is going to do. How are you going to do that? What are you going to do to um, make sure you don't get complacent? I think you're the words that you said, Daniel, Matt. Um, yeah, making sure we do the callbacks on a Monday. So making sure we do the two 45 minute call sessions, um, making sure the call sessions which are done on a Wednesday, Thursday are done correctly. Um, you know, just not in there, computers open. Um, one thing we're all about is working, working together and, and knowing our numbers. So making sure we work by the systems and work together as a team to keep growing as we are. I think with that, the team, going back to the team again um, and following what each other are doing, the, the, I guess the tasks that some people find as a, a bit annoying or a bit of a chore type to speak almost become habitual within our office and you feel bad if you're not doing it. And so everyone brings up that bottom line. So that's a massive, massive thing that we've seen that's led to our success. Uh, though getting awarded and getting and, and, and recognised is something that's really, really important and that the guys deserve, it's not our main focus. That with individual and, and the team success and actually getting the results for ultimately for the client are the main focus. I think the success and rewards have become a byproduct of that. It's not something that we're purely aiming for for that recognition. It's a byproduct of what these guys are doing is actually working really, really well, and they're contagious to keep on going more high from there. And it's no doubt you're doing it very, well, very, very well, guys. So congratulations again on a fantastic quarter. Thanks, mate. Thanks for taking the time out here today, and um, we look forward to seeing what happens uh, in the next 90 days. Hopefully, we'll be here again. Thanks. Thank you.